Two local college men's basketball teams, including the Sacramento State Hornets, are dreaming of a trip to the big dance. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane, and if Sac State and UC Davis get into the NCAA men's basketball tournament, it could have huge implications not just for the basketball programs, but for their schools. Tonight, we ask the question, what is Sac State doing to capitalize on a possible trip to March Madness? CBS 13's Ian Schwartz is live at the campus tonight getting answers. Ian? Sam, you bet the Hornets are capitalizing on their recent wins, but what the team hopes is uh, not just for wins, they hope their success brings them money. These moves on the court from the Hornets are creating a lot of buzz on Sac State's campus. It feels good knowing, knowing your school's at the top. Students say school pride is high as the basketball team gets closer to the Big Sky Tournament, which could lead them to March Madness and College Hoops fame. But it's great to hear that they're in contention. I got here in 1996. And interim athletic director Bill McCris says he hasn't seen a season this magical since he's been here. The energy, the attention, the buzz, has been big and it's been great. But with all the attention, what is Sac State doing to capitalize on its newfound fame? But Chris says in the coming weeks and months, they'll be working the phones to try to raise money for a new athletic facility. We're going to be working furiously to take advantage of this momentum and ride this wave and see if we can't, in fact, get our our alumni, our fans, and our community to come out and help us make this thing a reality. Students voted against paying for a new arena with tuition fee hikes last year, but McChris says one is needed if they want to become a national name. In fact, if the Hornets make it to the Big Sky Tournament, they might have to host it in Reno since their current facility is too small. McChris says with their winning streak, it'll be a lot easier to sell the idea of Sacramento as a college hoops town. This town loves a winner and this town loves their basketball and we would love to, to be able to give them that winner and make everybody in Sacramento and all 100,000 plus alums proud to be a Hornet. And how proud would they be? Sam, I talked to the athletic director. I said, hey, you doing any national advertising or other pushes to try to attract people? He said, no, not right now. But I'll tell you, if they go as far as a lot of people are hoping, that will be free advertisement for them. It is, and that translates into dollars. There's no doubt about it. We're going to break this down even further for folks right now, Ian. Thanks a lot. Tonight, we wanted to know how much money would Sac State get for a bid to the NCAA tournament. Sac State's information director tells us the conference gets about $1.6 million. They divide that among the programs as the conference champion gets an automatic bid to the tournament. Now, that comes out to about $260,000 for each program. However, that money snowballs each time the team advances into the next round, which means more money quickly reaching into the multi-millions of dollars for deep runs into the tournament, and that has happened. The benefits go well beyond the basketball program. What could a March Madness bid mean? for the school's admissions, both to Sac State and UC Davis? Well, here are some examples of how other small schools have benefited in the past. In 2013, 15th seed Florida Gulf Coast University, they made it to the Sweet 16 in that next fall semester. Admissions for the schools were up 27%. After Virginia Commonwealth University reached the Final Four in 2011, their out-of-state admissions rose 8%. That meant $3 million more in tuition at that school. And when Butler got to the the championship game in both 2010 and 2011 admissions rose 52 percent from the 2009 school year and UC Davis men's team well of course they're also hoping to make it to March Madness and they are ranked number one in the Big West Conference ESPNU will broadcast their game against Cal State Fullerton tomorrow it marks the third time this year that the Aggies have been shown on that network